Bruce Carm. Oh, I came over to see you. What happened this time? You get involved in something as soon as we leave you alone. Look, you're sulking again, aren't you? Who knows what happened this time? Ruskar, could you share those thoughts you have in your mind with me, please, so I can help you? Zainab. She's investigating the past. She wants to find the family of the person who gave her the heart. So that's it. I'll ask you this. How will you take care of that situation? I'd like to know where all this is coming from. Come on, I'm curious about it, Grandfather. Understand, I want to know whose heart I'm carrying. Give me my hospital file, please. I really can. I won't do it. Why are you doing this to me, Grandfather? It's not something bad. Come on, give it to me, please. But can you take the risk of losing Zainab after all this time? No. So what you should do is simple and clear. You'll persuade Zainab not to investigate the past, and then you'll prevent her somehow. I don't want her to find out the truth, maybe. But I cannot stop her. Ruzgar, look, this is very serious. If Zainab finds out about Meltem, then everything will be understood and all of the lies you told will be revealed. Is that what you want? If the truth is revealed to her, Zainab will disappear. What you should do is obvious. Zainab should never learn the truth. I said no, my dear. I cannot tell you. Listen to me, granddaughter. I understand why you want to do it. You want to find that family so you can thank them, but we don't know their names or their address or any information like that. You know nothing at all? I know nothing at all, dear. Nothing at all. Besides, that family doesn't want their names to be revealed, and you must know that. Maybe you said that to stop me from investigating. Maybe everything is written in that file. Zainab. This discussion is over, okay? Pull that chair up and sit down with me. Let's order two cups of coffee and have a nice chat about something else as granddaughter and grandfather together. Can we do that? Thank you, grandfather, but I have to get going now. Zena, you shouldn't be offended by me. I'm not offended. You are definitely offended, dear. I'm not in the mood at all right now, friend. I'm just so confused. I'll think about it more and more. If I don't do anything now, I need to do something, but what? Yes, well done, my friend. Oh yeah, well done. I'll find the family of the person whose heart I'm carrying. I'm only alive because that person is dead. Hello? 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 You were really focused there. Working makes me feel better. I couldn't get any information about my heart. I asked my grandfather, but he brushed it off for some reason. So I still have nothing. But I won't give up on my quest.
I'll find out whose heart I'm carrying. Do you know how curious I am about her and her family? Maybe she had a younger sibling. Or maybe an older sister or brother. Maybe she even had someone she liked romantically. It's possible. Who knows what was left unfinished in her life? I really wish I had a photo of her. I want to know what kind of a person she was. I wonder about her eyes and her hair, too. That's enough, Zena. Forget her already. You're making it worse. How am I making it worse, though? No, I just feel indebted to her. I just want to find her family. Forget about her already. You don't understand, so you should forget her. Get her out of your mind. She's dead. Now there is only you. She doesn't exist. She's gone, Zayna. What is it, Ruzgar? What's with this sudden behavior? I'm just thinking what is best for you. Investigating her isn't good for you. You should stop searching the past. We all saw how you acted at the hospital. You don't understand me even a little bit, right? I'm carrying a part of that person. I remember her every time my heart beats. You? You, Rosgar? Okay, maybe she doesn't matter to you at all. It's not like that for me. But, well, all I want is to find her family and thank them. As simple as that. But you don't even understand that, do you? I thought you would understand me better. I thought the man I love would understand me like no one else did. I've made up my mind now. I will find the owner of my heart. Dear, where did you go earlier? I didn't go anywhere. I'm still here. Listen to me. Mm. We'll go sneak into my grandfather's company secretly tonight. What? Huh? Seriously, what? The documents of my surgery are in my grandfather's case. I'm sure of it. Uh. You'll help me find them, won't you? Oh, yes, we will. Action! Hell yeah!
found it. I really found it. Oh, yeah? So, how will we open this? If we had welding equipment or something like that, we could just bang it open. Hey, girls, why are you holding what? that light towards the window? Come here. I found it. I found it. What? And I'm pretty sure my grandfather used my birthday as the password. Probably. Well, that's not good. I know. Maybe it's Isla's. Her birthday. Try it. Nariman's, maybe? Try it, try it. Try it once. Okay, let's take this case with us now and take it to the industry zone in Izmir tomorrow. We'll find a welder or something, and he'll do that for us. Sock, just be quiet. Why are you confusing us? But I'm not. Zainab, think hard. So what else could it be? Did you try Muammar's birthday? Maybe he said it as his own. Crazier things have happened. It's 1925. Wow. Wow. You're saying Muammar is that old for real? No, girl. That's the date of Ghost of Ace founding. Ghost, ghost, ghost of Ace. 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 Okay. All right. There was noise inside. Have you heard anything? No, I didn't hear anything. I'll go take a look. Go take a look. I, I found it. Yes, that's it. Come on, girl, open it. Let's find out what her name is. Because the family of the donor doesn't want to declare their identification. My grandfather was right. There's nothing here. Don't be sad, though. We'll find a way. We'll handle it somehow. I made you go through all that trouble. Shh, someone is coming! Oh, go ahead. Go in, go in, go in, go, go, go. No, Damn we're going to get caught. Go, 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 go. Shh, shh. Hey, let me in! Oh, shh. Uh, shut it. Get the lights. Uh, yeah. Good idea. The advantage of being small. We can go fit anywhere. Shh. I can't take you anywhere. Well, it's not my fault. I promise. Shall we get up? Yeah, we need to get out of here for sure. Muammar isn't saying anything. And we couldn't find anything. What should we do? Isn't there any other proof or something, Zainab? Let's go find it. No. Well, no, that's not something we can take care of from here by ourselves, girls. The FBI will solve it. You know how those damn feds like to be. <laughs> Sybil, for God's sake, watch less detective movies from now on. I'll tell you something. Sybil is right. We can't take care of this. I'll go to Izmir tomorrow, to the hospital where I had the surgery. Uh, Zainab, dear, are you being serious? I'm quite serious. I'll take care of this now. It's the last hope. You can't handle this on your own, Zainab. We'll come with you, too. Oh, it's time for action. Hell yeah. No, you can't. I'll go by myself. In fact, 
keep my grandfather busy. But you can't go there all alone. Oh no, come on. There's nothing to worry about, dear. I'll take care of it. At least I hope. Ms. Zainab was so depressed when she came out of the hospital, she ran to the beach. Yes, I know that. She remembered when she got the surgery. Then she went to her grandfather's and then met up with her friends. And she went to see that guy called Ruzgar again afterwards. They had a fight or something. I don't think there's something between those two. Good job. You keep following them and keep an eye on them. What is it? What do you want? Were you coming to shout at me again? I came to apologize to you. And I was going to Izmir, to the hospital where I got the surgery, to find out something. Okay. I'm coming too. So you're with me on this? I am with you. You don't think I'm making a big mistake? Let's go together and see what happens. But I'll drive this time, if you don't mind. Come on, let's go. Are you talking too little now, or am I talking too much? There's just something about this road. I get lost in thought every time. <sighs> anyway, there's no point in thinking and becoming depressed about it. We'll just have to go there and learn what we can and relax. Thank you for being with me during this. I knew you'd understand me. Listen, there was a nurse named Nevin there, and she helped me a lot during my illness. I'll never forget what she did. I called her before I departed. I said that I was gonna find some information about the person who gave me her heart. She said no one at the hospital knows, though, but she said she'll investigate. That's her. Hello? 
Hello? Wait a minute. Zainab, I found out something. Tell me, what did you find out? The information you are looking for can only be found at the local health authority. Only the director can see it. Well, so what should we do then? A friend who knows the director called him. He said he'll see you, so he is waiting now. <laughs>